child grows up and realizes that it's not really the truth. This piece is called What Are We Teaching Our Kids? If it's true that people all deserve respect, why feelings, and all deserve the same level of comfort, etc., then how can it be so that parents teach their kids this? It won't end up being true across the board, everywhere, every time. It's not ideal. Teaching your children to believe in things that are very good or idealistic is not so much a bad thing in itself, but if it causes a rebound effect when that child grows up, realizes that it's not really the truth, not really how you get by, then what was the point of teaching them in the first place? Emotional health. I would even go so far as to say that if the world were emotionally healthy, we wouldn't have conditions where emotional health is a luxury. People not knowing other people or not knowing what to expect from them is not really an excuse anymore. We are smart enough that we figured out things like psychology. Not everyone will study it, but we figure it out. We figure stuff out. That's the point at which it begins to affect our lives. So, it's not an excuse. I don't think many people understand how they feel others emotionally, especially when it's happening. We live in a world where people can say, I can't deal with this person when they're too emotional, it's not under my control. How is it not? I don't see any other conclusion than people are almost never fully aware of the depth of human emotion, what feelings they are available to feel, or even what everybody needs. It's almost as if the only way to teach someone right is to teach them humility by teaching them through embarrassment. Is that true? Humility is blind. Humility is fair. And most people don't stick to that. Most don't volunteer it. Some people need it more than others. Some people especially lack the capacity to listen. Do as I say, not as I do. A shield. Do they who utter that phrase themselves carry the spear?